so we'll transition to the next theme now. And before that, let me share uh, what our audience's um, take is on the poll that we just launched. Uh, so I think um, um, most of our uh, you know preferences or uh, you know uh, the the responses have come in for convenience for building omnichannel understanding of customers and building richer experience and a catalog of services to push the you know physical touch point and omni channel experiences further so thank you audience for participating in that uh, so moving on to our next theme which is the role of technology and digital partnerships in commerce platforms and marketplaces so uh, starting with balaji uh, tesco has always again been digital first in its approach and uh, you mentioned a bit about how you're already leveraging third party logistics players uh, for last mile and you know speed to market and so on uh, so how have you cross leveraged cross leveraged some of their capabilities to meet the needed now kind of expectations right uh, through platform and partnership models uh, and what do you look for when you choose your uh, digital partners yeah Sure. Uh, going back to a very similar theme, like what Alicia was saying, right? Essentially, when we partner, we look for mutual benefits. So the Woosh is a classic example where given that speed of the hour matters, uh, you know, we leveraged on the third party logistics because all that we need to do is we pick the products and then they will do the last mile. So it's a classic example where we rely on a capability that we can outsource and, uh, you know, do it cheaper than what we would do through our own logistics. So anytime we look at partnerships, we really look at how does it, what is the capability that we don't have and how do I leverage on, on a partner who can do that? Which is where, you know, we, in fact, we've also experimented a bit in the past where we have tried deliveries through robots. Uh, I've seen those Milton Keys is an area in UK where you'll see these Starship robots going all over and delivering products. Right? So we keep experimenting on, on different uh, uh, models, uh, so to say. Uh, coming to you know engaging with any uh, digital uh, partner, I probably have three things that we really look for. Uh, first one is obviously the ease of integration because uh, we are not a tech, you know, we, we are a retail company who are also leveraging on technology. So the, the, the best is how easy can we integrate with them? You know, what are their uh, API specs looking like? How easily can you integrate and move on? So that's definitely one of the key things we look for. Uh, more and more we look for uh, security aspects because, you know, Customer data is super sensitive. We are sort of GDPR compliant, which means that we need to make sure that the same compliance is followed by our uh, digital partners. Uh, the next thing that we look for is can they operate at the scale that we operate? Like I said, you know, our APIs sort of the the kind of performances that we thrive for with our APIs. Do the vendors? Have are they in a position to host it at the same level or not? Can they operate at the scale that we are looking up for? So all of these play a very key role. Above and all, I think there's one key point that I will also call out. As an organization, we are very, very you know, ethical and legal in all our uh, dealings, right? I mean, we're quite conscious about making sure there's no ethical issues that we have as an organization. So we always make sure that our digital partners have a very similar uh, sort of uh, strict rules, because the last thing we want is to have a media attention for something that we need not be accountable for. So we definitely look for their practices, how ethical they are in their practices before we select a vendor. Yeah, thanks, Balaji. I think experimentation, ability to scale and the ethical and cultural fit, I think those were great points that I was able to uh, gauge from what you said. Uh, Alicia, over to you. Um, in 2023, um, you know, um, like technology platforms are the area that will command your biggest planned investment as we read. Uh, so can you outline how, uh, you know, Falabella is adopting technology? How do you ensure return on investment? And additionally, Falabella has a somewhat unique ecosystem and continue to focus on, you know, payments, logistics, and possibly media next within your, you know, overall conglomerate itself. Uh, so what opportunities for synergy uh, within the ecosystem are you seeing from this? Okay, okay, great. Um, so first of all, uh, yes, we started, uh, I think over a year ago, we redefined our organizational structure to ensure a strong connection between strategy and execution, right? Because every time that your organization is not aligned with your strategy, then it's hard to align the execution, you know? So because of that, we organized the, the 
IT talent, product talent, UX, commercial, and data professionals around six portfolios, which are aligned with the main business line that we have, right? Banking, uh, marketplace, uh, omnichannel retail, payments, um, and loyalty, and uh, I forgot the last one, but <laughs> we organize everything around this uh six platforms so uh, working in portfolios we prioritize resources according to the success metric that we defined previously for the company so every uh, four months we align our plan with the strategy and with the measure of success so with that process probably we guarantee uh, the connection between the returns of the investment in technology um, with our strategy. And what happened here is every time that we are building something, first we are thinking in hypotheses. So we iterate around hypotheses uh, because you can fail, you know, uh, everything can uh, change. So you can fail, your hypothesis can be wrong, but the key is to invest the, uh, as less as you can in order to test that. So every four months, we are building new hypotheses. Um, then why prioritize scalability and reuse every time that we are building? Why? Because we are six platforms. And every time that we are building uh, mostly backend components or APIs, what we are trying to do is to build a new building block for the next um, a strategical thing that we want to develop maybe in another platform. So scalability and reuse are key in our way of working. Um, so with this, we, we ensure the return of the investment. But regarding your PSP, your payment question uh, about the ecosystem, um, we have uh, our own PSP or payment service provider in that we are using in our marketplace, but also we offer to third parties in the market also. So with this, we are able to process more transactions with less frictions. Uh, so it's a kind of advantage of our marketplace. Uh, then uh, our payment area also provides a wallet with zero cost. So uh, this allowed the consolidation of several payment methods for the customer, simplifying the buying experience into our marketplace, but also outside. And it's also a solution for customers who are like under banking, you know, so provide access to digital payments. Um, and what happened with this payment solution is that there we can offer unique discounts and promotion, promotion and also we connect this with our loyalty program so it's very attractive for our, our customers. And the other side is thinking in sellers. Uh, this payment solution enables them to manage their physical transactional operations also outside, outside uh, our marketplace. And also we provide uh, access to cash advances for their sales uh, within the marketplace. So we can accelerate uh, their growth as a seller also with this kind of solution. So uh, every piece in our ecosystem is playing a strategic role. And of course, payments is not the exception, you know? Yeah, no, I, I think, uh, you know, we can certainly see that, that there is a lot of thought and, uh, you know, strategizing going behind building the next new capability uh, with a strong view to, you know, create some sort of a flywheel within your conglomerate ecosystem itself. And I think that's playing to your advantage very strongly. Uh, thanks for sharing that, Alicia. Yeah.